oats. Almost everyone has them in their pantry and almost everyone has eaten them at least one point in their lives. I recently started eating them again after a while and I have this giant bag and now I have the task of finishing this. So for anyone else in a similar situation or maybe you just wanna find a creative way to eat more oats, I have four recipes for you today, all of them with oats as the main ingredient and as the video goes on, the recipes are gonna get more and more complex and interesting. Let's go. First, we are going to make regular oatmeal. Everyone has their own ways of making this, but I personally like to cook mine in the microwave in milk instead of water. If it gets too dry, then I add a bit more milk and top it off with a handful of walnuts and just a bit of honey. That's it. A classic, I mean, what's more to say? Now it's time to upgrade those oats into baked oats. This is still pretty low effort and pretty easy. It's a one pot dish, well, I guess two if you count the bowl I used to beat the egg in. I started by mashing the banana and from there just added the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so here are the baked oats. If you eat oatmeal all the time and you're feeling a little bored, this could be a nice alternative. And it's pretty healthy too. There's no added sugar and most of the sweetness actually comes from the banana. And there's an entire egg in here. Let's try this. This is really good. It's still creamy on the inside and the combination of peanut butter and banana is always so good. If you do want to make this sweeter, you definitely can add honey or maple syrup or anything like that. Okay, ready to get a bit more challenging? For the third recipe, we will be making oatmeal cinnamon scones. I don't know about you, but to me, growing up, scones always felt like a luxury. In my mind, I categorized them as upgraded muffins and they weren't something that I saw too often in bakeries, so I only ate them once in a while. I haven't had one in ages, so this recipe was perfect for today. And actually, did you know that all the way back in the 1500s when scones were first invented in Scotland, they were originally made with oats? The first mention of them in writing was by a Scottish poet in 1513. Oh, these smell so good. And of course, I couldn't forget the jam on top. All right, let's try this. So the scones themselves are actually quite light. One thing I love about these is that the oats add so much texture to them and the jam on top adds some sweetness. This is really good. <laughs> are you ready? This final dish is the most surprising, at least it was for me. Whenever I think of using oats as an ingredient, I always think of baking like oatmeal cookies or muffins, but what if instead of sweet, we made those oats savory? For this recipe, I made oatmeal burgers. These are actually vegan too, which was unintentional, but an added bonus. The trick for this one is to cook your vegetables before blending them into the burger patty mixture. Not only does it make them way easier to blend, but it also makes them act as a binder since these don't have any eggs in them. You can probably use a regular blender for this as well, but I used a small food processor and blended it in batches.
This smells so good. My mouth is watering while I edit this. Okay, I am so ready to try these. When I was making this, I thought that it would be kind of dry because of the oats and the rice, but it's actually really soft. The vegetables were cooked before they were put into the food processor, and I think that helped a lot. It's so good. And then just the addition of the lettuce with a hint of crunch, and the ketchup for sweetness. This is really good. And I guess that's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.